morning guys welcome to today's video today it is snowing again but just the light snow it's only supposed to snow for an hour and then hopefully it'll disappear girls and Sam have gone down to take care of the horses and Sam is home for six days six days you guys he's home so that means Lots more cleaning of the house for me. Lots more cleaning of the barn for him. I do really appreciate him being here and helping out though. So while he's gone, I am going to make him something super special. It is Easter weekend, Easter weekend. And if you are Catholic, then you might know that that means that on Good Friday, which is today, we don't eat meat. We don't eat meat. So instead of eating meat, Sam bought this ginormous family sized $30 piece of fish. I like to call today Fish Friday. Everybody in my family loves fish. We also have this kind of fish for Sophie and mussels, tons of mussels. There's like four packages of mussels here for Gabby. Sam kind of went a little overboard and got three different kinds of fish, but that's okay. We are gonna have an amazing supper. Oh, as a surprise, I am making Sam and Gabby whipped coffee. If you're on TikTok, then you guys know that whipped coffee is all the rage. It's brand new. So I have two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of hot water. So then you whip it. Essentially, you whip it until it's thick and stiff like this. It takes a really long time. Fill a cup up with ice, add milk, add the topping, and then stir. All right, let's try it, Gabby. Whipped coffee at its finest. So yummy. Try it. Is this a prank? No, it's. I actually made it special for you guys. Oh, no, no, no. What does it taste like? Barf. It has a too, like, oh, bitter it's aftertaste. So good. It's oh my gosh, it's you so didn't good. Try it. I did try it. It's legitimately so much better than I ever thought it was going to be. Like, I can't believe how good it is. It's my new favorite drink. I also made eggs, and interestingly enough, they just popped right out of the shell while I was cooking them. Clearly I make better coffee than eggs. Is it slime? No. It's slime. No, it's like whipped coffee. Try it. I, I need to my chips. There's only two? For any of you guys who don't know, we got babies. Oh, we got the twins. Are they warm? Yeah. Good. Hello, she's twins. Not oh, yeah. That she's warm. Yeah. You know what her favorite thing is to what? cuddle? Aw. For being such a good man, I made you a special coffee. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Even I tried it and I literally died. I couldn't believe how good it is. See, this is the wrong answer to say to your wife who just spent 25 minutes making you a special coffee. It's gross. Not bad. Tastes like coffee. Tastes like good coffee though. Sweet, yummy, cold coffee. I hate coffee with ice cubes in it. You're not gonna drink it? <laughs> it looks like a mess. Like his hair. Oh, my hair and you're me. On Instagram, everybody loves it. Why does nobody like it in my family? Like, it's Probably. so good. If I was still drinking Why? coffee, I would drink Why that whole thing. That? Today is all about getting our garden ready. So it's a little bit about getting our garden ready because it's kind of cold outside. But one thing um, Sam's been telling me is that you can't buy seeds to plant stuff. Like people are going full out homestead during the virus. So I surprised Sam today with my secret under the cupboard thing that I've been carrying around. And this is all my seed collection. It's like, isn't that cool? I have, whoops, I have corn, I have, I have lettuce, I have flowers, I have herbs, I have beans. My kids love beans and they love peas. But anyway, I have, oops, I have at least a start of all the things that we can put in our garden. 
in Canada, planting starts at the end of May. So we can't plant, but we are gonna get our garden ready. And I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, or at least what I hope we're gonna do. Okay, so it is Easter weekend on the Day by Day Farm, and we wanted to do something a little bit fun for you guys and make your holiday a little bit exciting. So we decided that we are gonna do the toilet paper challenge with our dogs. Okay, roll the video. laughed as much as we did. We totally laughed at Cookie. She was so awesome. Recently I showed you guys how we got chicken eggs, fertilized chicken eggs from our trainer Brandon and that we were going to incubate them. Our incubator broke and is not maintaining a steady temperature which means that our chickens are not going to live. I get it. That's fine. But Today I'm ready to throw them out, but I can't throw them out unless I make sure that, that nothing is happening. I know that nothing is happening because they've been sitting, well, you could actually. But anyways, today, today we are gonna candle our eggs before we toss them just to make sure. So that's what's happening right now. It's like Shane Dawson. Somebody. Okay, so in the past, we've always used a flashlight to do this. Oh wait, I can see it. So what we're looking for are some veins. I don't see any. You have to keep the... Oh, maybe right oh, there. Oh, I see something in there. Oh, it looks like it's cracking, but it looks like veins. See? Uh, I don't know. That's just dirt on the egg, I feel like. So what you're looking for are... are you need to put it up and down. I think that pointy point goes at the top. It's hard for you guys to see. Let me see. Can we do my egg now? Yeah, hold on. It doesn't look like anything. No. There's nothing. Wait, I have two. I'm going to say there's nothing in the egg. In that it's just egg. The spots. Okay. Okay. So, typically, we can see inside there, but you guys kind of can't. Typically, by now, we'd see veins growing. Can, it's Def too close to the camera. Okay. Definitely works better with a flashlight. Like I do see something in there, something shaded. You see any? Oh, there's freckles on this one too. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing in this egg. Okay, so if you check your egg, don't burn yourself. It's hot. Now you gotta cover it. It's blue. That's why. Turn it like this way. So the eggs are pretty, like they're not. We summon demon. They're not super warm, but they're not. Sophia's terrified. They're not super warm, but they're not yeah. warm enough. So yeah, I. No, I want something scary to happen. Gabby, Gabby's into ghosts. We're in the basement, the spooky basement. Okay, I'm out. All right, so I'm gonna crack them open. Here. I'm gonna crack one open and see what we see. So we're gonna crack one. I did this once. Oh, it was a big mistake. I didn't see nothing. I don't know, what did that look like? A yolk breaking. Yeah, why did the yolk break? All right, do another. Because I smacked it. I don't want my hands to get all runny. Are you supposed oh. to cut it in the... Nope, they look weird. Like the the eggs are actually all destroyed in there. Like they're not even. Ew! It's like Heat slimy. Probably. Yeah, I'm safe to say these are going bad. So Gabby found an actual better way to candle the eggs. It looks like a moon. Can you guys see? She put it on her camera 
her light on her phone. You can do it even in the daylight. You can see right inside the egg. That's so cool. Okay, so the next question is how do you know if your egg is going rotten? Hmm? How do you know if you're... I don't know. I'm not an egg expert. I don't research things. So I think a bad egg will float. Yeah, no. a flat bad egg will float. All right, put it in there. Let's see if this thing's going bad. Not enough water. Put it in the deep part. You can smell if they're going bad too. It smells like mildew. Probably because it's good. I mean, it looks like it's going bad. So, it kind of looks there's like it's... There's something right here on this one. It looks like it wants to float. Oh, there's something right here on this one. Oh, yeah. It looks like it started to develop, and then when our temperature broke, it went bad. Right, so it's safe to say oh, that our hatching did not work this time. Last you time, get a better incubator. Let, yeah, I'll get a better incubator. Last year, last time when we did this was so rewarding, so amazing, and uh, we borrowed a really good incubator. Okay, ready? Yep. This was our Easter egg or chick. Both of these aren't floating. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the shell off. Hmm. This one looks like maybe it was doing something. Because it's extra hard to break. Oh, because she didn't crack it. Before. Oh, well, at least it's uh, a oh. normal egg. That's weird. No, because I cracked one because I don't want to get my hands dirty. Weird. Do you remember that day that you tried to give Ruby an egg? What happened? So Gabby did the challenge the other day, not when, on camera. When you give a dog... Oh, I found it. It's in my oh. grass on TikTok. Oh. Um... Where you give a dog an egg, like a big dog, or a medium Let's try dog, it. an egg, and they take it and protect it because they know it's fragile. Let's see what her dog does. Okay, Ruby. Now watch, watch. She's going to go. Not on the rug. Ruby, you are not a good mom. Mom, a dog. I know. So that yeah, was a total fail. Awesome. The weather is really cool and windy. So if I try to show you guys our garden plans, it would you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. So garden plans coming soon to a vlog near you. Oh, so, uh, Hendrix has not stayed around. We blocked everything to try and keep him in, but he's like, you know, cats. You can't keep them in. Give him food and make sure he comes back for supper. It's Easter weekend, you guys. I'm so excited. In two days it's Easter. Yep, two days it's Easter. Can I talk about, can we make it tomorrow? Uh, in the past, we've always uh, decorated eggs, and we didn't decorate eggs this year. She's like, I don't care about eggs. All right, we are all here, ready to do lunch. Let's do it. I'll You're come with you. Oh, no. Sophia's doing it. I did it this morning. Okay, pack it up. Pack up your lunch. You can do the girls then. Yeah. I had them there this morning. I saw the horses out there running around like crazy people. This morning, I know they're feeling fresh. If you're wondering why the heck we aren't riding, it's because it's not the ground is all soaked again. The mares needs to go out on grass. Uh, we're gonna put the girls out on grass once the grass gets a bit longer. You're supposed to always put them out. Your hair looks so cute, crossed by the side. I know, but over on the side, like a side part, looking cute. And now you're gonna be grounded because you didn't do your hair like I told you. I, 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 I touched it. All right, let's do it. Sophie and I are gonna. Do the lunch. The barn's not as clean as when I do chores, I but I'm not complaining. Gabby, you gotta turn off the lights. Uh -huh. Carrots. Horses. I know, I missed it, but Storm galloped. Every time you miss it, Storm galloped. I know, he was galloping. Silent trees 
I won't forget You know the secrets of the late night breeze It's all pretend Don't you worry That is it for today, you guys. Today is Good Friday, and typically we video our entire day. We're stopping today at noon, at around one, because it's a holiday, and I told the girls it is Good Friday. I want you guys to just hang out with your friends on FaceTime, obviously. Play your games. Whew. Enjoy the rest of your day. So Sam and I are gonna edit, get the video up. Now, I'm hoping to do a live video with you guys because I have a special fun game. It's going to be Never Have I Ever Equestrian Edition. I think you guys could play along really well with us. I'll say Never Have I Ever, blah, blah, blah. And then whoever has, like then you guys answer in the comments and then I'll read out people's answers. I think it'll be so much fun. But anyway, um, after that, we're gonna have the rest of this day off. I hope you guys have an amazing, awesome holiday Friday and we'll see you guys tomorrow.